How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Gavin the Gunslinger Let's Play. So, I'm just enjoying uh, the awesome... Oh! <laughs> I was just enjoying the nice new farm we made, and I have just made an addition I was about to talk about, and no sooner than I decided to um, talk about it, I got attacked. So, I've added some more wiring here to some dart traps. Um, I realized that anytime you want to farm mimics, you need to get them moving off screen. And they often spawn as a stationary chest and won't move until you approach them or attack them. So, by having these two dart traps wired up here, what will happen is the mimics will become activated off screen. Um, Any time a dart shoots along here and gets one of them. Ooh, that nymph as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be quite effective. Uh, um, I don't know so much about fighting the mimics in the water, but we'll, we'll just have to make do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm just uh, doing a bit of fishing, waiting for this rod of discord to drop. Uh, it's a great chance to get some items. And you can see the chaos elementals are spawning often enough, so... Yeah, it's just a waiting game. Just got to keep chilling out, keep waiting for that awesome uh, rod to drop. I'm getting some chests while we're doing this, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we might get some uh, special ink charm items from some of the enemies as well. Oh my gosh, we just fished up the Zephyr fish. Which is a super rare, super rare pet in Terraria. I think you've got a 1 in 800 chance of getting the Zephyr fish pet. So it's super cool. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm kind of surprised I've got the Zephyr fish before I've got a rod of discord. So yeah, we're, we're fishing away. We're getting lots of cool stuff. I've got 50 crates. I've got some hallowed crates. I've got 5 golden crates. Um, I keep filling the piggy with loot um, from mimics that are dropping and I'm keeping like one of the main things and then just selling like I'll keep an armor polish for the ink charm but um, yeah it is taking a while okay so I've been at this for a while now oh mimic <laughs> I've been at this for a couple of hours now and I have not gotten my rod of discord yet now Look, uh, some people ask me that, you know, is the farm working? Is, I've been at this for a few hours, and unfortunately with low drop chance items, like the Rod of Discord, sometimes it can take a long, long time to get it. Um, so, yeah, look, sometimes you just need to give it a break and come and try again later. And you'd be, look, sometimes when I do this, I'll come back and farm for five minutes and I'll get it. So, um, I'm actually going to move on, but this hasn't been a waste of time. We've actually got a ton of fish, we've got lots of crates to open, I've actually got the accessories to make, I've got a cross necklace so we can make a star valve, which is really cool, and we've got philosopher's stone, so there's actually a lot of stuff that we can make um, from our adventure down here. So, I'm excited to open all this loot that we've collected on our adventure. Another thing I'm excited to do too is clearly because we farmed in the Hallow for so long a Hallowed key dropped which means we can get the Rainbow Gun which is gonna help a lot for the Pumpkin Moon. Now we're gonna open some chests. I've put some empty chests here because sometimes it's quicker just to spam a ton of them open and then sort the loot as you go. But let's start with the new Hallowed crates. I'm interested to see what we can get out of these. So. Um, oh, that's nice that they drop crystal shards. That's actually really handy. Ooh, platinum bars are nice too. Souls of Light, some bait, that's cool. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty handy. Nice, master bait, that's nice. Okay, and platinum bars are always handy. It's nice for decorations. So let's put that in and I'll sort the rest later. Actually, mining potions are nice too. Okay, next thing is our golden crates. Or should we, okay, let's save those for last. Okay, this time I'm going to spam lots of wooden crates. So, spam, spam, spamity spam, spam. And do you know what I like to do with these? See all the loot flying everywhere? <laughs> it's just like, loot! 
And what you can actually do now is as you put it in the chest, it'll uh, sort itself out. So you can just go spammity, spam, spam, put all your loot in the chest. And just looking at it, oh, there's those new boots. And that's why it's worth fishing early in the game. You can pick up uh, boots really early on, which is nice. Wow, check it all out. Is that all? Okay. Let's put the journeyman bait in there. Okay, so we got... Oh, heart reach. Very nice. Oh, we got one of the enchanted sundials. That's cool. So the enchanted sundial skips the day forward to 4.30 in the new day. So this is awesome to have. If you get a solar eclipse and you don't want to fight it, Just you just place this down and right click it which I'm not going to do because it only works every seven days in in-game Terraria, not in real world. Um, and it'll, it'll end the solar eclipse for you, so very handy. All right, next let's open our iron crates up. Ooh, okay, we got some more master bait. That's awesome. And yep, okay, and more heart reaches. Very, very nice. And now for the golden crates. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we got an Atata sauce. That's awesome. The Mini Minotaur, but I think we'll stay with our rarer Zephyr fish at the moment. Okay, and the last one. Oh, yeah, we got the Hardy Saddle. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Ah, and Gravitation Potion. I used to use those to fight the twins, um, which was kind of fun. Okay. And let's put all that in there. Actually, I'll, I'll put it on quickly. So, I'm pretty sure the Hardy Saddle... It's a bit like Duke Fish Run where he works good in water, I believe. But I think for now, our Unicorn's a lot faster, so we're going to go with that. Alright, so all that loot and all that loot. I think that's, that's pretty nice. And I'm just going to fill that one gap in the chest. It's annoying me. Okay, pretty nice. But for now... It's time to go and get our rainbow gun from the dungeon. Now, just before we run off to the dungeon, we've had our Martian chest here since forever. And now that we've beaten um, Golem, we can actually use the stuff in there. But one thing I am interested in is the Electrosphere launcher. So it does quite a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure this is a rocket gun. So let's just put this stuff back. Yep. We also got the Cosmic Car Key, which is kind of cool. So we can buy Rocket 1s, which is still pretty powerful. So let's actually... because they don't destroy tiles. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I haven't used this much. But during the Pumpkin Moon, if I fire this to where most of the enemies are, that looks like it's going to do a pretty good amount of damage. And here we are in the dungeon, ready to do a bit of farming. And... Ooh, Kraken. Or Kraken, depending on how you say that. And the Electrosphere Launcher is kind of awesome. <laughs> I like it. It's going to absolutely wreck. If we set up a good platform for the Pumpkin Moon, guys, this is going to destroy mobs. Because it does, um... It does consistent damage. Like, it's... It just sort of sits in an area, and wow... It kind of feels almost like a summon weapon to me because you can sort of set it and then change guns. So I'll definitely be using this a bit like a, a stationary su summon target. This is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it was worth suffering through that Martian invasion very early on in the game. <laughs> I can't see them surviving very long. Oh, it's the Hello Chest. Yes, big booty. I got the, uh, I got the achievement. This is awesome. Rainbow gun. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. We got rainbows and electrospheres. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be so powerful. What a combo. What a combo, guys. Gavin is a beast now. Oh, I should get I should take the chest. <laughs> okay, time to make the arena. So the next thing we're going to do is actually build our pumpkin arena. And I'm going to uh, not muck around too much with filling in all the gaps. You can build it right on the ground and then sort of fill in all the ground underneath you. But I'm actually going to try and avoid a bit of that. 
and that's by building it slightly higher in the air. So we're going to use all the Martian conduit plating we've been collecting. So let's start about... Actually, I should count this. This is an important part to count. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's just get away from our base a tiny bit. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the reason I'm counting is I'm going to make it with exact gaps each side of the palm.
Okay, so now that we've hopefully defeated the mech bosses once and for all, it's time to finish off our arena here. So I've got the whole arena sort of spread out. We filled most of the gaps. Um, there's a couple of little ones, but it should be fine. So to get all the lava in here, I'm going to set up a little bit of a uh, lava generator and... They've sort of looked like the devs are tweaking with Terraria a lot at the moment. And I've noticed liquid generators are slightly different and it may change again. But um, I had a little play with it and it's a lot slower than it used to be, but it still seems it works for water pretty well. Um, lava's getting a bit slow now, but we'll get it started and I'll. Yeah, we'll sort of see how we go. So, as always. Just your inlet on the bottom and outlet on the top. We'll put down a timer. And the reason I've put a little wall up here is I'm using a smaller space to get it started. And then as the lava starts to fill it up, um, the overflow will pour into the rest of the arena. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> we'll see how we go with that. Um, it looks like they've increased the volume and the speed in which the inlet pump sucks up liquid. So you still get the duplication from up the top, but it's a lot slower now. Um, and it seems to work better the more lava you can pour in there. So I may even need to get some more to help it get started. So what I'm going to do is put little blocks along here, just so like little pools can form. And hopefully, yeah, as it keeps filling up, it'll, um, yeah, so the lava will form in little pockets. And it'll just save me from having to, yeah, get buckets and buckets and bring it up over and over again. So what I will do, though, you can see it's sort of just treading water at the moment, or treading lava. <laughs> so I'm going to go down and pick up some more lava and put some more in there so we can speed this up. Another thing we need to do is get out some of our ecto and our pumpkins because ooh, we can make some pumpkin moon medallions. That's really cool. I love it. I love it. Oh, actually, um, where was... Yes. <laughs> I just want to see if I can get that achievement. So you ride the unicorn. Yes, got it. <laughs> Rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> I haven't gotten that achievement yet. Okay, so we've got our um, we've got our pumpkin medallions. The only thing left to do now is to get enough lava into our arena, and we can fight the pumpkin moon. And here we are playing with lava. <laughs> so what I'm doing is, and thank you to the people that suggested this in the comments. So apparently I was using a double a U-shape double before, but apparently you can achieve duplication with a U-shape as well. And you need an empty bucket and a lava bucket. And you put it on the edge of the block and then you quickly pick up the flow with an empty bucket. And you'll get half of the liquid come out into the container. And basically you can just constantly... Uh, empty and fill up the same bucket of lava. Whoops. Oops, messed that one up. <laughs> but um, you get the idea. I was just doing it a bit quicker than I should have. So we've got the gradual increase from the generator here, which is slow, but it's working. And then we've also got these pockets filling up as, um, as the generator works. So let's just pick up another bucket. <laughs> and yeah, it seems to be pretty effective. So you just need to let the... yeah, there we go. So you just go a bit slower. But, um, I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's just the difference between making about 100 trips down to a lava pocket to bring it up, or just quickly doing it up here. So, yeah. So nice and effective. And we'll have plenty of lava in our arena in no time. And thank you so much for watching another episode of Gavin the Gunslinger. Next episode is going to be a full-on monster smackdown. We will be fighting the pumpkin moon in our new arena. And if we do alright, we possibly will try the frost moon as well. 
So, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I hope you enjoyed us fighting all the mech bosses this episode. It was lots of fun doing that. Okay, it's time for some shout-outs, as always. And our first one today is from Dil- Dylan. Dylan with a double N. Dylan. And he said, happy makes me happy, 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 happy. Thanks so much, Dylan. That's awesome. I love when you guys say, like, my vids make you happy and all that good stuff. It's like, hey, I think it's really cool. All right, we've got Team Monkey has asked me to say in a dog voice. In a dog voice? <laughs> oh, so I've got to say cookies, cookies galore in a dog voice. So <gasps> cookies, cookies galore. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we've got Consti3003 has asked me to say I like cookies in German, so uh, I'm going to have a go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I think it goes Ich mag Kekse. Kekse. Kekse? Ich mag, ich mag Kekse. I think I've said that right, maybe. <laughs> Let me know, Consti. Uh, our next one is from Gabriel Pruis. Pruis. Gabriel, Gabriel Pruis. Yes. And he's asked me to say in Gavin's voice. Oh my gosh, he's Gavin again. And he's got that deep husky voice. He's asked me to say, Pumpkin Moon is coming for you. Nice one. Thanks for that, Gabrielle. And to finish this off, we've got Ex-Austin. 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 Okay. All right. He's asked me to say in a terrible voice, Mordor is coming in a terrible voice. Okay, I'm going to be like... Ooh, Mordor is coming! <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> wow. Okay, thanks as always for watching, everyone. Keep those uh, comments and suggestions coming. Uh, I do apologize, I've been a little bit busy the last day, and that's why I haven't been quite so active. But uh, I'm back in business now, so expect all the good content coming out as always, and me to be more active in the comment section. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our Twitter, on our Facebook, definitely check it out. Links are on my channel page. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed that cinematic. I had a lot of fun making it. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. Until next time, guys, you stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!